Majangasaurus was the apex predator of late Cretaceous Madagascar, but it wasn't the only large predator of the region, as there was another apex predator which terrorized the rivers and lakes of late Cretaceous Madagascar. It was called Mahajangasuchus. Mahajangasuchus was a large and very unique crocodilia morse with adaptations that make it unique among crocodilia morphs. Mahajanga Sukas was similar to modern crocodilians in most regards, but it did possess key differences. Mahajanga Sukas had a very strong and thick skull, possibly an adaptation to withstand the high pressures created by its own bone crunching bite. Like modern crocodilians, it possessed blunt conical teeth. While modern crocodilians have teeth that are similar in size, Mahajanga Sukas possess teeth that were different in size to one another. Mahajanga Sukas also possessed an extremely large notch in the lower jaw to accommodate the larger teeth of the upper jaw. This is seen in some modern crocodilians but not as extreme. Mahajanga Sukas also possessed a horn-like structure on its skull, often called the skull muscle bone. This is used to attract mates or scare off rivals. Some modern crocodilians such as Cuban crocodiles also possess such horns. It is not a surprise Mahajanga Sukas was a large predator, but just how large? There are some estimates that suggest Mahajanga Sukas grow to an average length of 3 meters, larger individuals reaching 3.5 meters to possibly 4 meters, a weight of 300 to 360 kilograms. This is as large as a adult male American alligator, which would make Mahajanga Sukas a very dangerous predator. Mahajanga Sukas, because of its large size and formidable bite force, would have preyed almost anything it wanted to and can overpower. Mahajanga Sukas lived alongside a variety of different animals that could have been prey, such as the giant devil frog Bills of Bufo, the Crocodilia morsimo suka. The sauropod dinosaur or pedosaurus could also be prey, but mostly juveniles would be taken as adults could be too big and risky to take down. Mahajanga Sukas was one of the apex predators of Lake Cretaceous Madagascar alongside with Majangasaurus. As Majangasaurus was larger than Mahajanga Sukas, it could have been a predator for juvenile Mahajanga Sukas. But adults would be very risky targets due to their large size and high bite for Mahajanga Sukas is so unique, it is in its own family Mahajanga Sukas Day. The only other member of this family is the Caprosuka Sahariscus from Niger from the early Cretaceous. As Caprosuchus lived roughly 95 million years ago, it is possible that there are more Mahajanga Sukids yet to be discovered. Mahajanga Sukas was one of the few known semi aquatic Notosuchian. Most other Notosuchians were mostly terrestrial. Mahajanga Sukas lived in the Maorani Formation approximately 65.8 million years ago in the late Cretaceous Madagascar. The Maorani Formation was a rather dry area with extreme heat in the uh, dry season, with heavy rainfall during the wet season. It was considered a semi-arid biome. So, it is possible that Mahajanga Sukas went extinct with the non-avian dinosaurs approximately 66 million years ago during the KPG extinction event. If it didn't went extinct earlier, that means Mahajanga Sukas was marked to go extinct even if it didn't went extinct earlier. Mahajanga Sukas is a very unique animal with unique adaptations that make it unique among crocodilians and just show how diverse crocodilians and their relatives were in the age of dinosaurs. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something interesting. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you like to see more. And of course, have a great day. And if you have any suggestions, you can write in the comment section below.